looking at the left side of the front fender near the headlight, pull the hood release cable junction, green arrow, off the fender. It will pull straight up. If it gives you trouble, lever it off using a plastic prying tool. Once removed from the fender, open the hood release cable junction box. Remove the hood release cable from the junction box. Pull the cable end out of the front cable loop, then pull the cable housing out of the junction. Pull the front latch cables out of the plastic mounts that run along the radiator support. This photo shows a cable with a cracked housing, as indicated by the green arrow. Next up, you will have to remove the upper bumper fasteners. There are four T30 torque fasteners to remove, green arrows. Removing these fasteners allows enough movement of the bumper to sneak the latches out. Now it's time to remove the latches. You have to remove them to detach the cables. Remove the two T30 torque fasteners from the latch, green arrows. This photo shows the left side. Repeat these steps for the right side. Pull the bumper cover away from the radiator support enough to remove the latch from the vehicle. Slide the latch out enough to remove the cable. Pull the cable housing out of the stop, green arrow, then disconnect the cable end from the latch. Remove the old cables from the vehicle. Install the new cables through the radiator support, then install them into the latches. Make sure the cables are correctly installed in the latch stops. Install the latches and reinstall the bumper fasteners. Working inside the vehicle, first remove the hood release cable. Remove the Phillips head screw, then pull the handle straight off. Then remove the kick panel Phillips head screw as indicated by the green arrow. Next, remove the kick panel by grabbing the bottom green arrow and pulling it straight off. Then pull the kick panel away enough to access the trunk release button connector, indicated by the green arrow. Pull the connector straight out of the button to remove. Working at the hood release lever, pull the cable housing, green arrow, out of the mount, then remove the cable end from the lever. When installing the new cable, you will have to fish it through the firewall. This can be a pain. I like to tie a string to the cable end, green arrow, then pull the old cable through the firewall. The string should be long enough to remain inside the cabin. I always make the string about six feet in length. This way, I have enough of a safety net if I pull it too far. Working at the top of the bulkhead, pull off the plastic seal, green arrow, then remove the old cable from beneath it. Install the new cable beneath the plastic seal, then reinstall the seal. Tie the string to the new hood release cable and then pull it through the firewall. Install a new cable to the hood release lever, then reassemble the hood release handle and the kick panel. Connect the new cables together. Be sure the loop of the latch cable is caught by the nub on the end. Then close and reattach the cable junction to the body. Check the operation of your hood release cables and you are done. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.